More than 150 years ago, bison were an integral part of the Great Plains and the prairie system. They were essential to maintaining the balance and diversity of grasses, flowers, insects, birds, and other mammals. In the late 1800s, the bison population was decimated to near extinction. Several groupings of bison were saved and later placed in national parks. One such herd was the Wind Cave Herd. The staff at Broken Kettle Grassland Preserve traveled to the Black Hills in South Dakota to bring home a small herd of bison, descendants of the Wind Cave Herd, from a conservancy herd at Lame Johnny Creek Ranch. The purpose for selecting bison from this unique herd was twofold, to restore the native prairie by increasing the diversity within, and to further the conservation of this iconic American species. At the annual roundup, animals were sorted, tagged with a microchip and ear tag. Okay, we need a, a metal ear tag, you, you threw it. I got the avid tag, it's a bull going up. Yes, Iowa. The other big one's going to the triple seven. Tail hairs were pulled and blood was drawn for genetic testing. The Conservancy is working closely with Texas A&M University to continue genetically testing this close breeding herd. This herd comes from Wind Cave National Park. By the Iowa chapter taking these animals to the Broken Kettle Grasslands Preserve, they're also helping to conserve the bison as a species. They don't show any signs of cattle genes, which makes them a very unique herd. Staff from both South Dakota and Iowa work tirelessly to sort animals by their maternal herds and keep calves and cows together. South Dakota animals were released into their winter pasture and Iowa animals waited in pens for their big move to the Iowa native prairie. On moving day, calves and cows were sorted for the seven to eight hour ride to Iowa. The specially designed tractor trailer had compartments for each group. Bison on Broken Kettle Grassland is the next step in the long-term goals for Iowa's largest remaining prairie. In concert with prescribed fire, bison will add a disturbance to the land, which allows for a more diverse mix of prairie species and better pasture utilization. Twenty-eight bison made the journey back to Iowa, returned after 150 years. 16 cows, five bulls, and seven calves. Working with this bison herd has, has been very exciting. It's always a challenge working with a, a type of livestock like bison. They're not, they don't behave the same as cattle. And so there's some challenges and there's also a lot of uh, nervousness and nervous anxiety about moving them to broken kettle, but we're very excited that they're here. They're playing hard to get. Uh, we see this as a great opportunity for not only the grasslands, but for future conservation efforts in the West Hills. Large-scale prairie restoration efforts are working in Iowa. This herd will soon be able to roam a 3,000-acre pasture. The original tall grass prairie is one of North America's most endangered ecosystems. Less than 1% remains. But continued commitment to the program at Broken Kettle Grasslands will mean that the rumble of bison on the prairie in Iowa will be heard for generations to come.